Salutations, everybody! Welcome back to Victoria 3. I'm Lord Formand. We are here with the Hudson Bay Company into Canada uh, tutorial Let's Play. So, some things have changed since uh, I started the Let's Play. Supposedly, they have worked a little bit on the propensity of the US to expand into Canada. Um, I didn't see it in my game, but I've gotten some comments saying they have. Um, there's been other changes as well. There'll be more coming. That's really the only one that will directly affect Canada. And we're not going to see it in this let's, let's Play because, well, we've already started and I'm not going to restart now. So we are currently plotting against the U.S., who has 156 battalions, and we have 16. They also have four times our population as well as uh, four times our GDP. So... Let's get started and see what we can do. So we need to definitely get um, more people into our country. So let's try and get some greener grass campaigns going. Ideally, that should be our best hope. We'll see. We need to build up our economy more. Unfortunately, we also need um, just generally more people. Which is always a problem for Canada. So um, we're working on getting migration controls so we don't get flooded by immigrants. We want some immigrants, but we don't want tons and tons. As long as they got the heritage culture. So European and stuff should be okay. Ah, oh, what, that's the Ivory Coast. Oh, well. Still, let's see how our... Colonies are doing still slow, obviously. Um, we might as well start some other colonies since none of our what we have is growing at the moment anyway. I think we just got a migration to Connecticut, which the Connecticut area. That's interesting. There we go. Discriminated population prevented from migrating. Okay. Really, we want to change away from private to public health insurance. Yeah. And people are willing to do it. Perfect. Uh, except for the industrialists are really ready to start a revolution. So I guess we need to wait a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Let's get dynamite. We're so close. What are we building now? Railway in British Columbia. Ah, yes. We're working towards the Canadian Pacific Railway. Now, military, 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 military. We need to get to trench works before the U.S. does, if we can. Or hope they go into a civil war. Um... All of those are going to take time. So I guess right now we should work on researching stuff we're already getting. So let's get anarchism. We need to get a... Uh, oh, whatchamacallit going. We need to get some more universities. I think first we are going to throw down another con uh, construction sector. I think we can afford more building, considering we got... Easily more than we're spending already. Okay, I'm going to change this to dynamite. Kill off less of my pop populace by uh, mining away. We don't have enough to do the factory railroad stuff yet. Public trams. No. Port, though. We could do cargo. I think that's all we're going to do for the moment. We might even be able to afford another construction sector at this rate. I think we can. It's not ideal, but we need to complete all these railways for sure. Uh, 
I might inter... No. <laughs> Let's intervene and throw down another furniture, furniture manufacturer. Just because it's making so much money. Same thing with textile mills. We'll probably build another one of those. Anarchism. Okay. Military statistics. Right now I'm just focusing on researching when it's already spreading. Just We don't have anything we particularly need to research other than military tech, and we're just so far behind it makes no difference point to focus on it right now. Fifty nine. Gotta wait till these guys de radicalize themselves. Any other laws we can pass? We could do compulsory primary school. Everybody supports it. Oh, nice. That, that would be really nice. Um, reinforce concrete, more throughput. I'm going to risk another construction sector. Probably going to send us into a decline of economy, but an actual ability to get 20 or 30 construction is invaluable. So let's do shortage of rubber. Let's do a shipyard. Now what we should have, yeah, is we're building in two now. We're short on Man of Wars, which is what we're constructing more of. How is our... We're not getting positive migration, really. Which is quite concerning. Now we're getting positive. Okay. Huge migration to Newfoundland, though. Be nice if we got a revolt from some natives out here, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. At least we're colonizing South Island at a reasonable pace. Because who who nev who's never wanted to see the Canadians take over New Zealand? Or southern New Zealand. Okay. Ashkenazi people are migrating up here. So that would be the Ashkenazi. Okay. Well, I'd say the population of this population makeup of Quebec is about to drastically change. When almost half the population is migrating in. Uh, let's take advantage of that. Throw down some buildings then. I'll finish that off. Because why not? There we go. We want to try and get as many of these people who are coming in working so they don't leave. Yeah. Ashkenazi Jews. Because we're tolerant, I guess. Look at that growth rate. It's nice when you get a migration that's almost equivalent to the population of your state. Are we... Oh yeah, we, we allow freedom of conscience. So we're actually going to be discriminating against the Ashkenazi. Compulsory primary school. Nice, nice. Um, improved fertilizer, I think. What else are we getting? Philosophical pragmatism. Yeah, doesn't it's not good. Actually, you know what? That would help us because we're starting to exceed our bureaucracy. 
The gold has been depleted in the Yukon. Well, it doesn't tell you this, but now you can go to the Yukon and build gold mines. Wish the game actually told you that it gives you gold mines when it gets rid of your gold fields. But it does. Okay. I'm going to finish off the glass works before I move on just to get that full benefit. Oh, it's so nice to see a buildup of population in your capital areas. Twelve weeks on that. There's actually not enough people living in the Yukon, which is funny. Hopefully, there'll be a more reliable group once we have mines up there. I really don't care which party wins. I pretty much ignore the political system outside of uh, if it stops me from passing laws. Neither of those are going to join, so the reality is nothing changed. I have to wait on the industrialists. They're still rather unhappy with me. Coal and glass are expensive. We have a coal mine somewhere, right? Although, since we're part of the British market, it makes little to no difference, but let's get a coal mine done. Hey, over a million people there in Quebec. Oh, their GDP shot up, too. Hmm. I think mine's going faster. Same thing with population. I wish there was a way to negotiate for lands. Outside of ploys. Maybe I can get Russia on my side. US, defensive pact with Portugal, rivalries, ooh, with France. Ooh. And Spain. If I could get even one of those to help me, I might have a shot. Ideally, France. Okay, what else do we need here? Um, rotary valve engine would help. I really want to keep improving the industry up here. Thirty percent of our population is now Ashkenazi Jewish. Quebec. Cool. That was a large migration and we needed it. Just don't have any population up here. Hmm. What can I do to help with that? Not much really. Shortage of rubber, of course. It's always rubber. I mean, technically, I could try to change it so it doesn't use rubber. Oh, we have an active trade route. We can export. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, we'll export some steel. Give a boost to our steel mills. We're going to need steel later, so getting it out now makes sense. Okay, get some population going here. Honestly, I might skip some of these railroads for a while. Get more of a industry going up here. It's a choice between furniture, glass, and textile, really. Although I think I'm going to take a detour and get a university, and then we'll build up the furnitures. 
Furniture almost never goes out of style, so. We'll do that in the university. I'm building the university, obviously, to try and up my uh, innovation rate. Hilariously, I love how we got a university up here, which is quite bizarre. I also need to... Well, we'll see, but I'll probably have to build another government building. Twenty two percent tax penalty, yeah. Government building. When in doubt, build government buildings to build up your bureaucracy. Rather than trusting to any strange reforms and stuff. Wisconsin migration. Interesting. Soldiers are complaining they have no way to open their canned food. They'll figure it out. Let's switch to public health insurance. I think we should be able to pull that off. Now. They're angry, but they're no longer becoming uh, rebellious. Oh, they are, apparently. Really? That's annoying. Obviously, I don't want to revolt. I'm going to have to find a way to weaken those guys. Really? Huh. Okay. Uh, that's going to be useless to me. Steam donkey, maybe? Or just do I bite the bullet and go straight for trench work? Handcrake machine gun is huge. I'll get that first. 162. We stopped the revolt, so that's good. Furniture manufacturing is still all profitable, which is great. But now I've got to go through and readjust all of the... Oh, I should have switched away from that ages ago. Readjust the urban buildings. Rotary valve engines. Less laborers, which, since we have low population, are important. Speaking of... We have a tool workshop somewhere, right? We do, and it basically makes no money. Oh, no, wait, that's Britain. Huh. We may not actually have a tools workshop. Um, let's stick that in New Brunswick. Nice, profitable business there with those furniture works. Didn't solve my governmental problem. Another one, I guess. How's our colonization going? Pretty decently. Okay. 60% of our population can read and is educated. That's really good for this time period. Trade unions... People impose it, but overall it gets me more money. We'll go for that. Normally I'd be focusing more on tools, coals, and iron, but since we're part of the British sphere of influence right now, it's not as needed. But I do want to make sure I have a tools workshop.
it might also be worth it once we've got the tools workshop up and the other one. Eh, actually, you know what? It's probably worth it now. Let's get another constructor construction sector going. I want to get more um, universities down. We, we're way behind the U.S. in tech, I'm pretty sure. So, Yeah. Look at their GDP go up. Oh, we're closing the gap in terms of population slowly. <laughs> we're never going to catch the U.S. <clears throat> Excuse me. In terms of pure population, so best we can do is get a little bit closer. Get another couple migrations here. It'd be amazing. Okay, that's building up. Good. I need to get an arms workshop down. Interior might be good. Finish the furniture, get the arms, work on the railway. Yeah. I really need to finish these railroads. They're just so expensive to build. And it's not like they give you money immediately. It's more of an investment. And I gotta upgrade the governmental building. I can move my capital if I wanted to, technically. Huh. I've incorporated some of my states. <clears throat> it's a little odd. Oh, more gold gone in the Yukon. Just as I was hoping to be able to do something else with my... Uh, Construction. Off again to build more gold mines. They're just... They're just great. I mean, we're making, look, 33k from minting alone. Did not see that technology. Wish there was a way to see, like, recent research. Ah, rifles. And stuff. Okay, that's all done. Tooling workshops. Steel tools. Rotary valve engine. Defensive pact with Denmark. Uh, probably not going to help. Well, we've doubled our uh, construction rate since we started this video, which is great. What's killing us now? Iron. Mm -hmm. Where or oh, where is our iron mine? We have iron mines? I sure. I thought we did. Oh, there's an iron mine. Obviously. Part of the larger British market, but. The sheer fluctuation <laughs> with our mining stuff. I, uh, I imagine one of my other games to get this positive negative white line off the map or off the computer screen. It was funny. I think I did is the Ching I started building, or the Ing I started building something. Let's see, industrialists are somewhat happy. Get another construction, two construction sectors going. Get some more building. 
since we can afford it, we're starting the uh, the real engine of growth here. Okay, out of that. Vacuum canning. I don't think that's going to affect us because I don't think we have a food industry. Oh, I've got to test all of this. There we go. Okay, uh, raising concerns. Can't always complete please everybody. There we go. 62 building. 62 building. Honestly, our biggest problem is going to be that we just don't have the population to work all of our gold mines. I think more people would be prone to migrate up here, but I guess not. Ignore inefficient agriculture. Polish people, more Polish people to Oregon. Interesting. Polish is already the dominant culture, and it's only going to get even bigger. Awesome. We need that pop growth. We also need another government building. The life of building government buildings. Although it's worse if you go play China. The poor king are uh, just eternally killed with bureaucracy. Pop and incorporated states. I think they need to adjust that. Gold Rush and Hudson Bay, South Island. Hudson Bay, South Island. Where the heck is Hudson Bay, South? Oh, South Island. There we go. <laughs> I was thinking Hudson Bay, South Island. No, Hudson Bay, South Island is actually down here. Okay. That's fine. All we got is a gold field. The feel like I'm a bit of an idiot there. Ah, the dream of gold. How's our rail line doing? Three to go at least. Plan Tinin. Interesting. Okay, well, let's finish this government building, and then we're going to call it here. Slow progress. we still got a long way to get even close to comparing to the U.S., but our GDP is... They've gained 20, we've gained 10, but it's a bigger increase for us, so... And our population is catching up close, quicker, growing faster than theirs, so... Success all around. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.